Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from Semax Code and in this video guys, we're going to talk about how to create login application in JavaFX. So basically what we're trying to do here is we will create a brand new application or brand new project and I'm going to guide you through all the steps in creating a very simple JavaFX application. So here we are using the NetBeans IDE version 8.2. And of course, the first step that we're going to make here is to create a new application. So just by clicking this new project, and of course, we're going to, uh, we're going to use the third option, which is the JavaFX FXML application. So click on next and the name of our project will be demo fx login and fxml name will be login okay so this is the first fxml file that will be displayed and of course the application package will be org that code and then login demo and then of course the name of our main class will be main that java so the main that java will be the entry point of our project and every time we run our program it will uh, look for this um, main class and then launch our application accordingly so now we have a very basic um, javafx application with three files login.fxml Login controller that Java and of course the main uh, that Java file and of course what we're trying to do is every time we click on login for so for example a login button it should redirect or um, yeah redirect to another page or another window uh, it it is basically means that the login is successful so basically for that to happen we need to add another one or another fxml file so right click on our application package and then new fxml file and this should be the dashboard okay click on next and then next and then finish okay so as i've said this will be the page or the window after uh, lag, uh, after the login is successful. So now let's try to open up our login.fxml file and then try to and uh, let's try to add different text field for our username and of course for our password and another one for our button. So basically what we have here is we have two element or two UI element which is the button and of course the label. So for now let's uh, move this label on top and let's uh, put a text here that says login and then we're going to change the font size maybe make it 14 or 16 maybe yeah and then the style will be bold okay and of course you can change always the family or font family of your login text but for me I think it's good for now and then of course the click me button I'll just move it down below and I'm going to add another um, element which is the text field so the text uh, the text field will be for our username of course okay so prompt text will be username okay and of course we do have another element for our password so that will be password field password field there you go and then click and drag it here okay and the prompt text will be password okay and of course guys we we can add maybe um, icons to this you know if you want to add icons to your text field of course you can uh, you can also add icon to your um, button so, so for example you, you, you will add a something like a lock icon into this button click me but this one will be um, lag in okay and of course we're, we're uh, we will try to resize this maybe let's make it um, the lag in one will be Let's try this. 
um, resize this a little bit and make the preferred height as 32 okay so drag it here and what else uh, maybe resize this and also for our text field um, let's just um, resize this and of course resize this one also we can change the height into 32 right there move this around and resize this a bit and this one also this one and now let's try to add a label to our text fields so let's search first for our label and drag it here to signify or to add a label to our text field for username so let's uh, change the text into username and then we're just going to duplicate this and add one for our password so this will be for password okay so align our text fields with our button to this uh, side and um, I think um, move it a little bit here okay I think that's good for now and resize the text field and of course move the lag in button so resize the window okay so for now let's name our text field username and password so go to uh, click first the element which is the text field and then the fx id so for example um text username okay and then the password should be text password okay and then of course for our login we will name it as um, button and the on action event is handle button action okay so for now save this and go back to the NetBeans IDE and go over here in our login.fxml file and right click this just to update our controller so right click the login.fxml file and then click on make controller okay so there you go all the elements will be generated so for example the label the button the text username and of course the password so now we do have this method handle button action right so every time we click on the login button here we will check this particular method so if and then event that get source equals to our button okay and then of course in here we can create a method or we can directly add the logic here so for example getting the username and password so in order for us to do that let's define a new variable string username and then this should be equal to the text coming from our text field username so text username and then get text method just to get the content of our um, text field and of course we're going to do the same with our password so username instead of username so it should be password and of course text password instead of text username just like this so basically what uh, we do have now the username and password that is um, inputted or typed by the user so let's check that against so for example admin so if username username that equals ignore case admin and password that 
equals ignore case admin. Okay, so what we're doing here is just basically we're just um, testing or checking if the username is equal to admin. So it doesn't matter what uh, case the user uh, used. So for example, if, he, if if the user types in the bigger A or bigger um, M or whatever letter that is present in, your, in this particular um, text. So basically, it's going to ignore the case typed in by the user. So if the user or the username and password is equal to admin, then we should say for now, um, log in success. Okay? Log in success. So let's save our file and for now, let's just clean and build our project and try to preview by clicking or right clicking our login project and then run okay and it should be this we will be presented with our login application or login um, page and of course if you try to click or type in admin and then admin it should display login success okay so else we're going to display um, username or password combination not found. Okay? So, as I've said before, every time there's a successful login, it should redirect into another page. Okay? So, dashboard.fxml is a way or the next page after the login is successful so basically what we can do here is try to open up a new stage so stage and then this will be a primary stage equal to new stage okay and then we're just going to import it the javafx stage that stage okay and let's just move this here and then we're going to use the code from main.java so, so for example we do have this particular code right here and we're just going to use this for our lag in controller that java so basically uh, we're adding uh, the scene to our primary stage okay so for now let's say primary stage is this particular stage variable and of course instead of using login.fxml it should use the dashboard.fxml file and we need to add a um, try and catch into this logic so we can add a uh, try and catch statement or we could just add through a uh, clause for java io that io exception so we can add this and it's going to solve the error for our um, parent root variable okay so root and dashboard.fxml and stage i think we're good to go so right click our our project and then run and then let's try this one more time let's check our um, username and password first so let's make a wrong or let's type in a wrong password so it's gonna say username password combination not found but if you try to type in the correct one or the correct password it should redirect into the other page which is the dashboard okay so I think that's it for this tutorial guys and if you have questions please let me know in the comment section below and thank you for watching see you in the next video thanks